This video will show you how to change the types of variables that you have in Jump. So the types of the variables are shown over in the left-hand side of the data table here under columns. I can see here I have three variables, mate height, height, and gender. The blue triangles are showing me what is currently saved as a numerical variable, and the red little bar chart is showing me what is saved as a categorical variable. So when I look at this data set, what this is showing me is for people of different genders, what their height is and what the height is of their mate or partner. So I would like gender to be a categorical variable. In this data set, it's just re recorded as two categories. And I would like height and mate height to both be numerical variables. But I can see over here I have a problem. Height right now is recorded as a categorical variable and gender is recorded as numerical. So this displays two common problems that you might have and I'll show you why. So I can see here for my height variable in my very first entry I have a person who is 67 inches tall. Now I actually have IN here saying inches and because of that jump when I read in this data table it saw text and so it thought, well, this variable can't be numeric because I have text in my column. And so this has to be a categorical variable. So if I try to change the variable type, Jump's actually going to get angry. Um, so on the left-hand side here, if I click on the little icon, it gives me my variable type options. Right now it's recorded as nominal. In Jump, that means the same thing as categorical, but I would like it to be continuous. I want it to be numerical, continuous variable, but I'll see that I can't even choose that as an option right now. And that's because of this error where I have the word inches or IN on my variable. Where you have this problem where you actually need to clean up all of your data entries to get rid of text in a numerical variable, I would actually recommend just doing that in Excel instead of trying to edit it in Jump so that when you read in the data, this is correctly going to show up as numerical instead of categorical. So if I have everything categorized correctly, um, or I don't have any text anywhere where it should just be numeric, then when this reads in, it should categorize correctly. Because even here, if I delete the IN and change it to all numerical, um, I'll see over here that Jump still doesn't want to let me change it to continuous. It's still not really happy with that. Um, and so instead, I would recommend changing it ahead of time. Now, I could also go into column info. If I um, right click on height and go to column info, then here I can change my data type to numeric and then I can change my modeling type. Now it will let me change it to continuous um, and I can hit OK. And now my variable type is back to numeric. So that's a way that I could fix it in jump if I want to clean everything up in jump. But if you need to do that extensively for a lot of variables, I would just consider cleaning it up in Excel ahead of time. So that took care of my problem where height was incorrectly recorded as categorical. Now my other problem is that gender is recorded as numerical, but I want it to be recorded as uh, categorical instead. So this is because we call this coding, um, where right now male is coded as a one and gender is coded as a zero. This is common for data entry. So especially if you collected data or you um, are using data that already existed somewhere online, you might have this situation. So this one starts off as an easier fix. If I just click on that blue triangle next to the word gender, I can just change it from continuous to nominal. And there it changed my little bar and I'm good to go with my data analysis. When I analyze everything now, it's going to treat gender as categorical. However, one thing I'll notice, um, let's say that I want to now analyze this variable. So let's go to analyze distribution and analyze gender. So it's gonna create a bar graph for me. I can stack it and turn it the way that we're used to seeing it if I want. But I see here that I still have zeros and ones as my labels for the categories. And when anyone in your audience, the class, looks at this graph, they don't necessarily know what zero and one means. So we would rather have the actual words there to tell us what these levels are talking about. So one other change that we might make is called recoding. So I wanna take those coded values and relabel them as male and female. So if I right click on the word gender, then I can go to the option called recode click that button and now it's going to show me my different levels of the category and I can actually type in a new value. So I said that zero was female 
And then it's saying you entered a non-numeric value for a numeric column. So it still saw numbers here. And it's asking, do I want to convert this to character, meaning I want to allow text to be in there. And I'm going to say yes. And now one was male. Okay, so now I have female and male as my two categories. Female was a zero and male was a one. I could also change my uh, the name of my variable if I want. It's going to make a new variable. Um, so I might call this gender text or something like that. Um, and then I can just hit recode and it's actually going to create a new column that has my recoded values. So I can see everywhere that it, there used to be a zero, it now says the word female, and everywhere that there used to be a one, it now has the word male. So now if I go back to analyze the distribution of my gender text variable, now my graphic is a lot easier to read and I can now quickly see that I had more males than females in my sample. So those are two basic ways that we might correct problems that we have with the way our variable types are recorded in Jump. This is really important to do before you move into your analyses because any type of analysis that you do depends on the variable type. So for instance, if I'm trying to create a bar graph, but I have something numerical, it's not going to create a bar graph. Or if I'm trying to create a scatter plot, but height is recorded as categorical instead of numerical, I won't be able to create a scatter plot or a histogram. So it's really important to get those variable types set up correctly before you move on.